The Certified Information Systems Security Professional, CISSP, is one of the most sought after security certifications. What makes the examination difficult is the expansive knowledge base it covers. It is difficult to develop expertise in all ten domains. Many describe it as a mile wide and an inch deep. Examination questions cover all ten domains in the CBK. Questions are scrambled on the examination. They are not presented in domain order. The 10 CISSP domains are 1. Operations Security 2. Access Control 3. Cryptography 4. Security Architecture and Design 5. Telecommunications and Network Security 6. Business Continuity and Disaster Recovery 7. Legal Regulations, Compliance, and Investigations, 8. Application Security, 9. Information Security and Risk Management, 10. Physical Security. Before you can attempt the CISSP exam, you must meet certain background requirements. ISC Squared places certain requirements on individuals contemplating sitting for the CISSB exam, which include, number one, test candidates are required to have five years' experience in at least two of the ten domains or four years' experience in at least two of the domains with an applicable degree. Two, payment of the test fee. Three, approved application. Four, Agreement to the ISC Squared Code of Ethics. Five, completion of the endorsement process. Note, the endorsement has to be done by an ISC Squared certified individual, for example, CISSP or SSCP. Many people are curious about the testing environment since this is not like many other certification exams. When you arrive at the location of the exam, you need to sign in. You will be asked to show your exam confirmation and photo identification. You cannot take the exam without a photo ID and your exam confirmation number. After you've signed in, find a seat, get comfortable, and wait for the exam to begin. The exam is completely closed book. In fact, you will not be permitted to take any study materials into the testing area. You will be given scratch paper to use that must be returned at the completion of the exam. The exam room usually contains a number of tables where the candidates will sit. Because the test has a six hour time limit, ISC Squared tries to make the candidates as comfortable as possible and allows you to Bring bottled water and a snack. All questions on the exam are multiple choice, and the exam contains 250 questions. 25 of the questions are for research purposes, so only 225 questions are actually scored for certification. The research questions do not count against you regardless of your answer. You should attempt all the questions even if you need to guess the answer. Don't leave any answers blank. The exam questions are developed by an ISC Squared committee and are always being updated and changed. I would encourage you to make multiple passes on the test. On the first pass, answer all the questions where you are confident that you know the correct answers. On the second pass, work through the more difficult questions and make sure to underline keywords such as not, least, and most. Missing one word on the exam can make a big difference. On the final pass, answer any remaining questions. Remember that it is better to guess at an answer than to leave a question blank.
I hope I've answered some of the questions you may have about the exam. The best way to prep for the exam is to attend a training class or use a good study guide such as the CISSP exam cram. Check out the Superior Solutions website for more information.